changes are coming to the landscape of the Golden Triangle with new manufacturing and the prospect of related industries building in western Lowndes County. And as our Rosalind Freeman found today, in the middle of it all, there is also change in the air. Growth is contagious, and that's what the executive director of the Golden Triangle Regional Airport is banking on. With the groundbreaking of a new billion-dollar aluminum plant nearby, he sees his business taking off, too. But we're excited to have them. We believe that's going to add a lot more jobs to our community as well as passengers for our airport. So excited to see that development. It's the economic development that uh, has allowed us to grow and made more passengers that we get to serve. Some improvements are already in the works. GTRA is building a $12 million jet bridge, and a land deal will allow them to expand runway space. For our future, that's correct. Yeah, it allows us to secure land for a parallel runway, which is really the orientation you see at a lot of airports uh, across the state. So if they're going to add a second runway, normally it's going to be parallel to the existing. These improvements add up to the ability to accommodate larger aircraft and more amenities for flyers. There's going to be more options when it comes to seating. So you have your basic economy, then you'll have your comfort plus, and then you'll have first class options now too. And for those reluctant to take to the skies. I, I uh, would encourage everybody to fly as much as possible because it is a great mode of transportation, uh, allows for convenience uh, as well as entry in and out of our community. So um, aviation, uh, you know, always has lessons learned, and so we're always trying to improve it every day. Telling your story in Lowndes County, Rosalind Freeman, WCBI News. Dowell says the GTRA is hoping to start the jet bridge project this summer.